Now listen, I had to drop the current video I was making Cause everyone's talking about this PewDiePie shit that's going down right now And I wanna chime in too And not just because I have an opinion on it like everyone else, right? But I have a plan! Now listen, everyone loves some internet justice And I think we can all agree that we'd love to see the Wall Street Journal get some Right? And with my plan, we might be able to do just that but before I tell you all my master plan, right? Let me give my views on the situation as a whole. Can't stop, won't stop, rocking for you niggas, cause I Now I'm sure we all know what's happened with PewDiePie, right? But just to recap it in a sentence or two, popular YouTuber PewDiePie has shown some Hitler-related stuff in past videos before. And he's shown some stuff about Jews that some might see as not overly nice. However, here comes the Wall Street Journal to the rescue, who saw these jokes, some of which could be seen as a little distasteful, and they did what any respectable news media outlet would do. They gave PewDiePie a platform to defend him. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, mate. They started branding PewDiePie as a Jew-hating racist Ku Klux Klan Grand Dragon who hates old people, molests children, and kicks dogs for fun. Fucking hell! That's a bit of a fucking overreaction, don't you think? And all of this, because he talked about and showed Hitler a few times. Well, in that case, right, they must fucking hate the History Channel then. Listen, the Wall Street Journal even went as far as to get journalists to go to his fucking house and try to harass him there. And you thought Jehovah's Witnesses were annoying? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man! Can a man not even hate on Jews in the privacy of his own home anymore? Listen, the Wall Street Journal, along with other news outlets, are, for some reason, right, bending over backwards to make PewDiePie out to be a bad person by totally ignoring the things that show he's actually a good person. Like, for example, right, do you think they're gonna post that PewDiePie raised over a million dollars for charity just a few months ago and is a good person? Mm. Nope! They'd rather paint him as a bad person and say he's a fucking cunt Nazi because there's one Nazi group somewhere on earth that kinda likes him. In the follow-up pieces they wrote, right, are they gonna point out how PewDiePie said he doesn't support those hate groups at all? Mm. No! Of course not, mate! They'd rather point out how PewDiePie is complaining about how the media is portraying him unfairly and using that to make comparisons between him and Donald Trump. Grab him by the pussy. Holy shit, man! PewDiePie seriously pissed someone at the Wall Street Journal off, hasn't he? What the hell did you do, Felix? Fuck the owner's wife or something. Stop close your shop, you niggas ain't saying nothing, niggas. Now listen, this smear campaign against PewDiePie would be something that I'd be all for, right? If PewDiePie actually was the racist and bad person that they're making him out to be. But here's the important part, right? He's not. Listen, it's pretty fucking clear that the Wall Street Journal and the other media outlets that are bashing him are cherry-picking which points they say, right? To twist them and show PewDiePie in a bad light whilst completely ignoring all the good things about him. And what the hell, man? To go as far as to actually imply that he's an anti-Semite? Come on, man. You guys are being a bit disingenuous, don't you think? I don't understand. Why can't you guys just be honest? Why can't you guys just tell the story without any bias or agenda? Like, is that against the Wall Street Journal policy or something? Like, I get that you guys have a journalistic agenda and you don't like him, right? And I also get that you guys are trying your hardest to get other people to not like him too, but to discredit his charity work and his character by implying that he's an anti-Semite and a legit Nazi for what were very clearly jokes, like, that's borderline slander. There's a lofty goal there somewhere, but if you use the tactics of dishonesty and slander and smearing and all that to get there, you, it's not good. It's not good. Journalistic integrity at its finest. I'm sure you'll all agree. All the chicken heads, put it in your mouth. What up? It's to judge PewDiePie as a person based on his fucking jokes is kind of stupid. And let's not forget, right, that one of your journalistic team that disagreed with PewDiePie's anti-Semitic jokes so much likes to make anti-Semitic jokes himself. You cannot make this shit up, man. This is the kind of hypocritical shit that goes on at the Wall Street Journal. East Coast, what up? West Coast, what up? Listen, this is what the media does, man. They fucking suck. 
They don't just present the facts and the truth. They only present the facts and the truth they want to show you and they hide the ones that they don't. And the reason they do this is because they have a fucking agenda. Look, these are tactics. I don't think it's going to stop. And I, and I think they've learned, you know, what, what's that Hitler quote? Like, the bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Mm -hmm. I think they're partly operating on that. But here's the sad part, right? In the celebrity world, what happened to PewDiePie is nothing special at all. It's actually the most normal shit ever. Listen, fuck racist jokes, right? Companies will drop celebrities they sponsor for pretty much acknowledging that race even exists. They can't take a joke, and they're so politically correct, it fucking hurts. Are they cleaning house, or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is while you're reading that paper. It's the PC cops run amok. But the reason they're so politically correct and sensitive is because they have to be. Because if they are, the media will write stories about them and make them look bad for supporting the celebrity that they've decided that they don't like. And sadly, right, the general public tend to believe fucking anything that the news tells them. You can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that yeah. is, the, that is our you, job. Yeah. People will believe whatever they say so much that the news can pretty much control what people think. Meaning that if they want people to believe that someone who raised over a million dollars for charity is actually an asshole, they can pull it off. <laughs> Seriously, some people are so fucking dumb, right? As long as there's a news source, they'll believe anything they say. Like they could say that PewDiePie recently left his girlfriend to be in a gay relationship with YouTuber Grade A under A, and a ton of people would actually believe that shit. So it is kind of shitty, right? But we can't blame Disney or YouTube for distancing themselves from PewDiePie. Because if they hadn't, right, the Wall Street Journal could have very well written negative stories about them as well. And that is bad for business because the Wall Street Journal is a well-respected news outlet. Or should I say, was a well-respected news outlet. Oh my thugs, what up? Thug bitches, what up? One thing that surprised some people, including PewDiePie himself, is that a big, well-respected news organization like the Wall Street Journal is for some reason doing this bullshit undeserved smear campaign on someone like this. I'm not joking. The Wall Street Journal did this. It's the most absurd thing I have ever heard. Like, maybe the sun. Maybe the sun. Well, guess what? The Sun, which is not a well-respected news outlet, and is the example that PewDiePie gave as a shit news source, is owned by Rupert Murdoch. And the Wall Street Journal, surprise, surprise, is also owned by Rupert Murdoch. And when you hear that fact, it makes all this shit make a lot more sense. Do you know what I mean? Just a little something to keep in mind for the future. But with all this PewDiePie stuff going on, right, there's a bigger message to keep in mind here. Yes, PewDiePie is getting fucked over unfairly, and it sucks. But the bigger lesson here is this. The fucking news isn't always as trustworthy as we'd like to believe. Which means that, yes, Donald Trump was kind of onto something. Fuck around and get your shit pop, nigga. Flip flop, nigga. And sadly, right, this PewDiePie shit isn't even the first time that the media has gone out of their way to pressure a company to drop someone just because they didn't like them. Which is fucking sad, man. It's fucking bullshit that just one miserable old wanker in the media can fuck something good up for someone who doesn't deserve to lose it. And that's what these three miserable old cunts at the Wall Street Journal are trying to do to PewDiePie now. These three journalists are trying to smear and ruin the reputation of a charitable YouTube comedian for pretty much doing exactly the same thing that one of the three journalists did himself. What fucking sense did that make? If, in your mind, right, a comedian isn't allowed to make those kind of jokes, then what the fuck is a journalist doing that shit for? Out of a comedian and a journalist, who's in more of a position to be making racial jokes? Yeah, not you, Ben Fritz. So you can shut your fucking mouth, can't you, mate? Given that one of you three dickheads is tweeting out shit like this, don't hold PewDiePie to a standard that you don't live up to yourselves, dickhead. Come on, take something, shake something, break something, stop. Fuck the Wall Street Journal. They can just say whatever exaggerated bullshit they want about PewDiePie and nothing happens to them, right? They just get away with it. And that sucks. Now listen, right? I've got more to say and I still haven't talked about my plan, right? But I'm having to cut this video short because it's too fucking long already and I don't want this video to be uploaded too late. But listen, right? I do have a plan that could maybe have some sort of impact to the Wall Street Journal. 
It's very similar to what I did exactly a year ago with my hashtag make YouTube great again videos. I oh, listen right, this fucking video has gone on too long already. But the next video that I'll make will be nothing but the plan that I have. And who the fuck knows right, hopefully it's a good one. See you all in the next video.